M3 Backfire, which first flew in 1977, introduced into operation in 1983 and officially entered service in 1989, had new NK25 engines with substantially more power, wedge-shaped intake ramps similar to the MiG-25. Wings with greater maximum sweep and a recontoured nose housing a new Almaz PNA, Planeta Nozitel, Isdali 030A, navigation slash attack radar and NK45 and in slash attack system, which provides much improved low altitude flights. The aerodynamic changes increased its top speed to Mach 2.05 and its range by one third compared to the 222M2. It has a revised tail turret with a single cannon, and provisioned for an internal rotary launcher for the Reduga KH-15 missile, similar to the American AGM-69 SRAM. It was nicknamed Troika in Russian service. 268 were built until 1993. As built, the 222M included the provision for a retractable probe in the upper part of the nose for aerial refueling. The probe was reportedly removed as a result of the SALT negotiations, because with refueling it was considered an intercontinental range strategic bomber. The probe can be reinstated if needed. 222M3S used to attack targets in Syria underwent modernization, during which the SVP-24-22 specialized computing subsystems were installed on them, significantly increasing the accuracy of the bombing. The 222M3 was operated by the Soviet Air Forces VBS, in a missile carrier strategic bombing role and by the Soviet Naval Aviation in a long-range maritime anti-shipping role. Significant numbers remain in service with the Russian Air Force. As of 2014, more than 100 222MS were in use, and in 2021, before the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, there were 66 of the aircraft in service. After the introduction of the Tupolev 222, it became increasing clear that the aircraft was inadequate in its role as a bomber. In addition to widespread unserviceability and maintenance problems, the 222's handling characteristics prove its landing speed was 100 km per hour greater than previous bombers, and it had a tendency to pitch up and strike its tail upon landing. It was difficult to fly, and had poor all-round visibility. In 1962, Tupolev commenced work on the major update. Initially, the Bureau planned to add a variable sweep wing and upgraded engines into the updated design. The design was tested at TSAGI's wind tunnels at Zukovsky.